In today's video, I'm going to show you how I unintentionally offended another radiologist on LinkedIn. It was not my purpose, uh, not at all. I was just uh, doing some conversation and things kind of like spiraled out of control. And I want to share this conversation with you guys. Um, I was debating whether I should actually do this or not, but you know, screw it, just do it, let's go. Hi, my name is Dr. Christoph Acton. I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist and on my YouTube channel, I teach other radiologists MSK Radiology, which is musculoskeletal radiology. And I am the largest YouTube channel in MSK Radiology. I have you know, over 20,000 subscribers and people are really learning a lot from my YouTube channels and I get a lot of very, very good feedback. And because people like the way I teach, I also started offering online coaching and part of my online coaching efforts is the virtual MSK fellowship program where I promote uh, this program also to other radiologists and then help them really become confident and faster in MSK radiology because there is actually a real need for this. It's, you know, it's not just for my own benefits or something. It's actually really something where people get a lot of value and they are really starting to enjoy their work again. People are sometimes on the fence of quitting their job, you know, afraid of taking up a new opportunity because they have a lack of confidence in this particular field. So I'm really adding value to people's life and that's why I'm highly motivated to continue. And to promote my fellowship program, I occasionally also approach people, you know, just on LinkedIn. I just ask them, do you need any help? And, you know, sometimes the conservation conversations, they kind of like go in a direction where they say, yeah, actually I would need some help. Then I show my show them my program, etc. I try to see how I can help them and then eventually they I can sign up to the fellowship or not. So no offense taken. And Today I had a very interesting conversation, but let me show you the message that I sent to people once they are accepting my uh, connection request on LinkedIn. So this is the message. It says, thanks for connecting. I help radiologists to increase their confidence and speed in MSK MRI reporting by personalized online coaching. Do you need any help with this? Best wishes, Chris. So that's all the message uh, that I sent out. So no big deal. People can say, okay, no, I don't need any help or I'm a MSK a radiologist already, or I'm an interventional radiologist, I don't read, read any MRI. Um, some pe sometimes people say, yes, I'm interested, how can you help? So this is how the discussions normally go, but not today. And the person brought me back, let's call him Dr. Doom, and this is not his profile picture. I blacked out his name because I don't want to get sued over this. And this is the message, okay? If you need help, Chris, let me know. I can arrange an internship for you in our highly advanced MSK centered set. Well, at this point I was wondering, centered set. What, what's this? After 20 years of MSK experience in over eight university hospitals, I am sure we can teach you some expert knowledge. Feel free to participate. So I was really thinking, okay, this person did not really read my message nicely. So he was thinking I was asking for help or, you know, I was kind of like a little bit confused. So I wrote back, okay, no worries. Uh, this is certainly not going to work out. Um, no point in convincing somebody. I'm, I don't convince people. Okay. So I just thought, okay, that's it. But then he wrote me back. Do you want to participate? Uh, please let me know. I can arrange for you and feel free to take colleagues. We have some space left, especially for colleagues with intermediate experience, four, five years experience like you. He must have looked at my profile at that point. I think I started, well, it's not even true because I finished board exams in 2014. I was board certified in 2015. So I'm more in the eight to nine year range. But anyways, so he was writing something there and I did not respond because I thought, okay, that's just interesting. Okay, he has kind of like a, a funny uh, program and he just wants to pitch it to me now. And because I was really not responding, then he just follow up, followed up with a question mark. And then he asked me, did you wrote a PhD? And I thought, okay, that's a strange question. And then I wrote him, okay, I don't need any help, but thanks, uh, all the best. And I said, okay, good, you, you have your own program, it's fine. And then he couldn't let it go, he just wrote back, I like to educate starting up radiologists like you. So he was, in his opinion, I am where I was a starting up radiologist. Somebody sounds like, you know, first couple of years as a consultant. And then I really thought this is an genuine offer and he's really doing this. And I thought, okay, nice, good luck then and all the best. So then he followed up with another message also in their starting their scientific career. And, you know, I thought, okay, why not? You can help people getting settled in the field of radiology and you can also help people with MS, uh, with scientific things. This is something I actually did in my past too. So I help people with writing their scientific papers and research and stuff. So I thought, okay, interesting. And suddenly he came up with 
you see how embarrassing this is. So kind of like out of the blue. Um, at this point, I was starting to think, okay, now he was probably just screwing with me. And I thought, okay, I did not get his sarcasm. Okay, it's fine. I did not get it. But at this point, I thought, okay, he's kind of like just a troll. Okay, so <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's not even embarrassing for me. So, you know, I don't care writing people and getting like a rejection or anything like that. I'm generally trying to help people and it's funny how other people think. So, never mind. So then he came with his, uh, his rampage. He went kind of like on a rampage. So he wrote a starting radiologist offering education to far more experienced and more skilled radiologists. I really think your direct way of contacting is embarrassing and insulting. So I was thinking, okay, interesting. So obviously he seems to be a really great radiologist and I was offending him by offering him help. I was not even offering him help. I was just asking whether he needs help or not. So anyways, so I, I did not respond, but he just went on. Write some scientific papers and contribute to the further improvement of radiology instead of offering commercial services only for your own benefit. When, oh, when I was your age, I wrote scientific papers and learned from that instead of what you do. I hope my message is clear. Well, I did my fair share of research in the past too. He, he might not have uh, looked at my profile in enough depth. I've done over 40 art, uh, research articles, etc., research fellowships and everything, but never mind. I was thinking, should I write this to this guy now? Uh, should I write him, hey, I did a habilitation, I'm subspecialized in MSK radiology. I published articles in the radiology and other great uh, radiology journals. But I thought, okay, this is not a competition. You know, he kind of like, doesn't have a good day so i thought okay no i don't um let's <laughs> write this okay so i just you know i didn't know how to respond to this to be honest so i just wrote lol and then he just went on yes it's embarrassing you just started out have no phd well in switzerland people don't do phds it's called habilitation which is technically more or less an equivalent to a phd um but yeah it's another system anyways just one fellowship is also not true that's all that's it so it kind of like, <laughs> i was not responding so he was kind of like offended by me not responding actually so then i just wrote him hey why don't you just write me back no thanks like others and just leave it be uh, i did not want to insult you all the best bye bye and then he also came up with a great tip and read profiles of people you approach which he should probably have done himself but so I wrote him, this is automated, based on job title, sorry, you know, let it go and have a nice weekend. Uh, I really didn't want to go into a fight, so then he wrote me something back, which I'm not showing you here. Okay, that's really how this conversation went, and um, I think it was kind of like interesting how he was really pissed at me asking him whether he needs help. It's not even, I was not really offering help, I was just asking for help. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how you would have handled this. Um, maybe it's not a good idea to to publish this here, but I think it's it has some entertaining value. Yeah, let me know how you would have handled this. I'm um, interested to hear that. And if you want to guess what he wrote back there, then uh, feel free to make a comment down below too. And yeah, that's it all for this week. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.